how to make your drawings or paintings pop. This is a kind of a beat up picture in my classroom that I uh, talk about with students all the time. The one on the left, just a few shades of gray. The one on the right, many shades. And this is one way you can get your artwork to really, really pop, uh, both in the abstract sense and in realism. And here I'm gonna switch over to one of my drawings. I'm mid-zone in this picture, but I wanted to show you how I take a look at uh, trying to create edges. Working with the water soluble pastel here over top of the acrylic paint. And I usually bring about three or four shades of uh, whatever color I'm working with. This uh, is blue, of course. And I'm trying to build up the, uh, the opacity, uh, but still allow for transparency to come. And here's where the edges come in. I'm bringing another darker blue uh, into the mix along with a little bit of uh, Prismacolor pencil here, and this creates the edges. And this is the kind of thing that can make your images really, really uh, get that pop sensation where um, you've got the contrasting colors butting up next to one another and can create that contrast. Here I'm bringing the uh, darker blue also back into the lighter ones I had to try to once again build those edges up. Also create edges um, with painting as well. And here I am going back in, I had a lighter brown, but I'm going with the, some blues and browns to create that um, edge once again to contrast and also show the value uh, coming out more. You can also go back in with lighter colors. Here this is another painting that I'm kind of mid-zone on, and I'm bringing in uh, a lighter yellow, yellowish white color to start bringing some highlights, but I'm also trying to intensify the contrast through the values of uh, different things as I'm going into the nose here. I often draw upside down or shade upside down after I've got the image laid, and sometimes I even draw upside down. Sometimes it's, it's nice to have just the shapes you're dealing with, not really thinking about the person so much. And a lot of times when you turn it back around, you have some nice surprises, and uh, also the image becomes less tight, a little more loose. Increasing the value and contrast again on this piece uh, with the uh, bird and I can I had a previously light lighter colored blue which I'm going back in. I don't use black rare, very rarely. If I want to get a, diff, a darker color I will go with uh, blues and browns or greens mixed in this case. And here we have a uh, kind of a further away image. I'm not done with this. I'll post later on when this is uh, over and I'm finished with it. But this is kind of mid-zone. And the same with the next picture. Uh, you can see it's very streaky right now, but I wanted to show you just some of the ways I start and not show the polished finished version. Uh, I think that's really important to look at when you're learning. So anyway, thanks for watching today.